What's up? Wondering where I'm at? I'm at Bacardi NH7 Weekender and I'm going to give you a quick BTS of this entire event. Let's go! So now let's get into the mystery of what makes Bacardi NH7 a cultural phenomenon. I'm going to be speaking with Samiksha Onelia, who's the brand lead of Bacardi, and we're going to have a quick chat about it. Come, Samiksha. Hi. Hey, hi. I'll see you, Krithika. Bye, bye. Hey, I'm here. Good chat about you. Thank you. Tell me something about what you guys keep in mind for the people coming here. Ah, uh, so I think at Bacardi, whatever we do, uh, we have a saying, right? We actually literally keep consumer at the heart of each and every plan that we make, or when we reach out to the consumers, each and every comes. Bacardi and a Seven Weekender is extremely close to us. This was the first platform which gave the access to our consumers, gave the access to the artists, and uh, 12th year running, we're so proud. I get goosebumps when I talk about it, you know. into making the Bacardi NH7 event or rather what went into making the Bacardi NH7 event. I'm going to be speaking with Mr. Sanjeet Randhawa who is the MD of Bacardi to find out how it all actually started. Come, let's go. Hi. Hi. Yes. How are you? Good to see you. And you bring in the business to the event. So how do you manage and uh, you know maintain the business and the cultural aspect of the event all together? You know, not many people know this. Before experiential became a buzzword in marketing, Weekend was started in India Ooh, okay. in 2020. Yeah. It's when Bacardi said, we're not about just selling a product. We're about giving the consumer the experience and the whole experience, the occasions, the cocktails, the whole atmosphere. And you see that today. And, and also the music, which is a big part of the Weekender. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. What an evening, right? Sorry, I didn't, wasn't expecting you. I was just hanging out with friends, listening to some amazing music. I was, speak, I was speaking to Sanjeev about how Bacardi shaped NF7 Weekend to be this cultural phenomenon in India. So how has Bacardi shaped that for India? Uh, I think it's such a great question. And, you know, honestly for us, the hallmark of this experience has been twofold. It's been about supporting local artists giving them a platform to shine while bringing people together. You know, we talk a lot about Bacardi being the brand that encourages, that supports, that advocates for people doing what moves them. Yeah. And we're seeing that today. What was interesting was when I entered this place, I saw pluck cards that, you know, uh, sort of highlighted the sustainability yeah. and environment, um, you know, friendly aspect of this event. So yeah. Tell me something about that and thanks. you've been spearheading that. Yeah, thanks for commenting on that. And, and again, we're very proudly a 160 year old company. And our mission and our mantra has always been to support our communities, to support the communities that support us. So about three years ago, understanding the impact that the burning of the rice husk was having on our community in India, we took what I would say is a pretty bold step to actually source that rice husk and develop things like cups, things like napkin caddies, things like straws out of rice husk. So whether it be in offices, whether it be in production facilities, for all of our amazing products around the world, we are deeply deeply dedicated to sustainability and ensuring that the footprint that we're leaving is absolutely as minimal, if not zero. I love that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, Zina, what's up? Hey, How are you? Hi. Neha, Zina. Nice Zina Vilkesam is the marketing director of Bacardi India. Oh, Zina is one of the principal architects for this entire experience. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Over to you to discuss how this experience has evolved. Thanks, thank you. Thanks, Bye -bye. Neha. See you later. Zina, first off, I love your hair. Can we talk about that? <laughs> Thank you. Made my night. Tell me something about the future of, you know, the NH7 Weekender and uh, what 
what um, you know five years down the line the event uh, holds in store for all of us. So Bacardi is all about doing what moves you. So those things are twofold. It's emotional. Right. It's about being yourself, being unapologetic about who you are. And then it's about that physical movement of music and fun and dancing and the vibrancy of it all. Right. We don't want to forget the core of the festival, which is bringing people to this amazing venue, letting them meet and speak and converse and listen to comedy and music. And the whole thing is so inclusive Mm. and we never want to let that go. So over the next five years, we'll see the festival evolve, but in the way that our consumers, our people are evolving and what they love that. So we're so excited for what's to come. So, so the festival is also called and pegged as the happiest festival in yes. India. How and what makes it the happiest festival in India? Everything about letting you be completely yourself, unapologetically mm. yourself, being completely inclusive in that way. Right. I love that. I love that. All right, Neha. Well, I really, really want to go check out some of the artists, which is Ooh. why we're all here. But you know what? You should actually go speak to one of them. Get oh. some insights on how they feel about the festival and what it's like to be back after two years. I would love to do that. Where should I find them? Around here? Yeah, exactly. Talking to one of the music artists here. His name is Young Raja, aka Rajak Ahmad, and he's a Singaporean Tamil songwriter and rapper. Let's go. Hey, you two. Hi. What's up? What's up? How's it going? Great. How are you doing? I've been good. So far, so good. How does it feel to have this platform uh, for artists like you that come from around the world and then be connected to your roots here? It's like I'm. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for 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 this opportunity because. You know, it's guys like me that are, there's so many of these guys, right? Guys like myself, all of my peers. We're all trying to fight for Indian hip hop. We're all trying to put Indian hip hop on the mat. So I'm so grateful for, for Bakari for like enabling artists like me, for giving us platforms like this, for us all to come together. Because they are like the trailblazers of culture, you know? Finally, we have representation on a mass level for Indian hip hop. Like how crazy is that? You know? So you were telling me about your fellow artists you met here on IG and stuff. Yeah, listen. Kayan is here. Where's Kayan? Kayan? Oh, she's here. Kayan is here, and um, we actually, you know, we've been, we've been collaborating. We've been making songs, but it's the first time I met her today. Is she? Oh, cool! I should. She, I, I think, should. I think she's about to go on stage. But it was a pleasure talking to you. I'll catch you. I'm gonna go catch that success. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice Thank you for the conversation. Bye. Appreciate it. Amika, hey. Hi. How's it How's going? It going? <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you too. What's up? I loved the entire atmosphere here. It's so thrilling, to be honest. How are you feeling? I'm super excited. I mean, finally after two years, I think we've all been waiting for this. Is this the first time you're being associated with uh, Bacardi and at Seven Weekend, or though? No. So I absolutely love Bacardi and at Seven Weekend because this is probably the fourth time I'm playing here. I think they've been absolutely supportive of my music, and so many artists like me um, over these past few years. They've helped in pushing forward and giving us like a platform. Like this to interact with fans and an audience and perform and do what we love. So my first Bacardi weekender was probably four or five years ago with my band. Then the second year was with my other music act. The third year I was playing with um, my friend's band, and then I played it in Shillong. So it's been absolute support ever since the start. And um, yeah, so this is the fourth one. But I debuted my live performance as Kayan, and this is absolutely amazing. So that's a wrap to the event. It was fun having so many different conversations with such interesting people. But now I'm going to go back to enjoying the event. Until then, you do what makes you happy again. This is me, Neha Nambiar, signing off.